Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We are in the cockroach-filled tunnels underneath Angel Oracle, and apparently we're not supposed to be here. So, we'll see how that ends up. Off-camera, I took the liberty of healing up a bunch of my people since we kept taking damage from the steam. I'm also going to clear out some of my weight by processing a bunch of weapons, so let's go ahead and do that, see if we get anything cool from it. Broken weapon parts. Quick mag. It's a low-tier weapon. Oh, improved Machoke, okay. Didn't expect to get that from it. And a suppressor, wow. Actually, some pretty good stuff. I've got so many weapon modifications. Alright, she's definitely overweight. Let's move their broken weapon parts to somebody else. Lexcanium, you're useless. You take them. Thank you very much. How is she still overweight? Do these weapon parts, like, weigh... Or these attachments weigh that much? Looks like they're about a pound each. Oh, right. I keep forgetting it's her anti-material rifle that weighs 26 pounds. Jeez. That thing is insane. Alright, well, let's install that suppressor on somebody's weapon because it only offers positives and no negatives. Who could use that? Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Cool. Do I care about the quick mag? Not really. Improved mod choke. Less cone angle, more range. Eh. Full choke. A lot less cone angle and significantly more range. Nah. I like the wide range. About, you know. About, what is it, 30 degrees? Yeah, 30 degree cone angle. I like that. At least for a shotgun. Okay. Moving on. Oh my god. So much steam. Alright, looks like that's gonna lead to here. What is that? Oh, it's a cockroach. So this way is going to put us through one steam. This way is going to put us through probably one steam as well. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, so I have to brave the steam if I want to try this box. Well, let's see if we can repair this. 27%. Come on, Lexcanium. Please make this annoying hissing noise go away. Wow! Good job. I'm proud of you. And I know that I do have a trinket that I can use to improve his lockpicking skill, but again, I'm too damn lazy to use it. Black twill pants. Hmm. I could definitely use some pants. Pretty cool looking. Gotta say, there's a pretty high chance of friendly fire there. Shooting literally down a straight line of four friendlies and then one enemy on the end. Not too wise.
Man, going into burst mode just ruins her chance to hit. Look at that. 53%. From, down from 100. Hmm. I guess it's still worth it. Who should I have go if I want to save ammo? Eh, whatever. Pew. There's a suppressor at work. Nice little silenced shot. Thank you, the Provost. Probably should have moved away first. Rolled low on my hit there, definitely. <laughs> Let's just shotgun it to death. So this is just going to lead around to the other pathway that I could have taken. Yeah. So let's go this way. Cut off t-shirt. Harper's gonna look like a true professional. Yeah, man. Computer hacker extraordinaire. Check out my business card. Uses the Comic Sans font. It's my favorite. Come on, I clicked to shoot. Try to shoot the cockroach in the ass before it could try to attack us. A 
little bit too close for comfort here. But 65%, I guess I'll take it. It's not too bad. Nice, got a crit. Does that go? See, I don't want to suddenly like pop out in front of a bunch of manorites because I'm not supposed to be here, so if they see me like just crawling out of a vent, they're not gonna like that. Alright, where's this gonna take me? Oh! Never know I was here, although I am curious. How do you get there? Oh wait, I've already been there? Where's my camera? Is it here? Oh it is. Oh yeah, I guess I just could have gone through there. I, I guess I missed that before? Cause it... Or... Oh no, that's what takes me back to where I originally came from. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Right, um, this is gonna hurt, because we're gonna have to go back through all of the steam. <laughs> Which means, actually, I should take off Harper's clothes, because otherwise they're gonna get burned off again. Wait a minute, I missed something. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna leave it to them to find the uh, shortest route here. Actually, no, screw it. I'm going to take some chances to try to repair the steam on the way back. Hopefully get past a couple of them unscathed. Critical success? Didn't expect that. This actually isn't so bad then. Just got hit by one steam on the way back. Okay, let's hope they're not waiting for me out here. Alright, no one saw us. I think we're okay. Didn't I already loot this? Hmm. I guess not. Oh, right, that's the one that has an extremely low chance. And what is her skill again? Nine. Okay, let's hope there's nobody waiting for us out here. Huh? Alright, we're perfectly fine. Nobody will ever know that we did that. Although, I do have to get rid of the evidence, so hold on, I need to dump my carapaces, or abdomens. I know there's more than just that. 8 pounds. So that's 12 pounds. 12 plus 12, 24. 
26. Alright, so I just dumped 26 pounds of... <laughs> 26 pounds of cockroach abdomens on the ground. I'm very, very sorry for whoever finds them. They're just gonna sit out in the sun and start rotting. <laughs> 26 pounds of rotting cockroach abdomens out in the sun. Ugh. Alright, that's it. No one will ever know. They might wonder why we suddenly don't have clothes on anymore. It's totally not because they got burned off in the steam. That looks like a bank of some sort. Almost time for the execution? Oh god. Alright, uh, let's go this way. Sam the Cook. You look quite a bit like the other guy. Mr. Hungerford. Welcome to the Angel's Cafeteria. Food is served in the afternoon and evening. At least it is when the folks on the farm do their job and my equipment's working. What's wrong with your equipment? Ah, uh, it's fine. The salvage teams always bring back the parts I need when a stove or a fridge breaks. Well, usually. What kind of parts are hard to come by? As often as you see broken toasters just laying around the wastes, you never find any dang heating elements. Mr. Manners likes his toast just so. And since my toaster's heating element is worn, I can't get it right. He's a picture of calm, but I can tell he's getting riled. <laughs> he's getting riled because his toast isn't toasted correctly? Okay. He sounds... stable. Tell me about the farm. It's right down on the floor of the Angel. It grows all kinds of stuff. Tomatoes, beans, potatoes, lettuce, peas, soybeans for protein. And what do you serve? We're generally strict vegetarians here, by order of Mr. Manners. But the farm grows a wide variety of veggies, so we don't get bored. There's also good, clean water. And once a month there's courtesy meat for protein. Courtesy meat? What is courtesy meat? You'll have to ask Mr. Manners about that. I just cook it. Protein is protein, friend. It all winds up in the same place. You know what I mean? That is very suspicious. Do I detect a hint of cannibalism? Mr. Manners provides it. I just cook it. Hmm. Smart-ass level... Eight. Oh, look at this. Uh, why do I get the feeling you're talking about human meat? What? You're telling me you've never tried it before? It's no big deal. Tastes kind of like pig. You gotta cook it for a while to get rid of the stringiness, though. Makes me wish we had fatter people. Say, do you want seconds? Oh, wow. Okay, so he's just openly admitting it. Hmm. I wonder if this will come up again. Where do you get your water from? We collect our own, and the climate's good enough here, we don't have to ration it. Help yourself. Tell me about Mr. Manners. He's been a real godsend. Set me up in the cafeteria, gave me the run of the place. I've never felt more useful. Any special rules in the cafeteria? Other than polite table manners? Well, just the seating rules. Over there's where the muckety-mucks eat, and over here's for everyone else. You should go sit in the good spots. Wait, what good spots? There's no chairs, or tables, or anything. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh, don't suppose you got any cat litter? I don't know why you'd want it, but I know Mr. Manners has a lot of it for his cats. Okay. No, oh, I guess this must be the cafeteria. It's an outdoors cafeteria? No, wait, this is a, a class. Or is it? It looks like they're teaching a class, but it's normally a cafeteria? I don't know. Anyway. You've deigned to stop by. I heard you were in the... 
Colosseum, of course. But wait, the what? I... huh? Was I? You mean the center of this place? Because I wasn't. What can you tell us about the execution? I think it's a mistake. And Mr. Manners is ignoring me telling him that. And that's an even bigger mistake. It'll be hard for him to rebound from that one. But as long as he tries to maximize his principles according to his art, he should be alright. Need any help? Help me? Help us? No. The important thing is for you to help yourselves. Why be altruistic when you can maximize your own potential? Okay. Any philosophy that sees kindness as a weakness ain't getting my vote. No kidding. A teaching from the book. Etiquette demands that we act civilly toward one another. If you're being rude, we'll set you straight. Have a great day. <laughs> These Robinsons don't seem very happy. Fuck it. I'm not fucking doing it. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's the woman I saved from the tree. Ration ticket. Uh, thanks? A small ticket signed by one Mr. Manners. Good for one item at the general store. Okay. There's a pile of literature on the table, along with a plate of sandwiches. How in the world did they make white bread? They even went to the trouble of cutting the crusts off. The inside has cucumber, goat cheese, you think the technical term for these is finger sandwiches? Well, have some more fingers. You can add to your sandwiches if you want. Oh, look. You have a free copy of the Nauseatingly Correct Guide to Manners. Boy, this book is thick. You... You think you should read this some other time. And perhaps when you're not on some sort of time-critical mission. Maybe a pamphlet would be a better choice. Is it that long? Oh, you can't actually read it. Gotcha. There's something down there. Wait, what? What just happened? Harper Overton received Mr. Manor's guide to... Uh, huh? Is that the pamphlet version? Why, I think it is. Mr. Manner's Guide to Post-Apocalyptic Etiquette. Tips for staying polite in the wastes. Greetings, gentle friend. Manners are the key to a stable society. The impolite people of the old days never took the time to properly dress, groom themselves, and be polite to one another. From this, misunderstanding was born, then hostility, and eventually war. Fortunately, with the guidance of the sacred book, we Mannerites know how men and women should live and act, and are dedicated to spreading that knowledge far and wide. We understand the foundation of peace and prosperity lies in good manners, even in a world destroyed by lack of proper etiquette. The sad truth, however, is that many other people live in ignorance of even the most basic code of conduct. Uncouth raiders and ill-bred... toughs? Who wouldn't even know how to use a fork to eat salad, let alone which one is appropriate. Shocking, I know, but a painful reality in today's harsh world. Some intelligent souls are wise enough to see the truth of our ways, once they have been politely, calmly explained to them. Others, however, do not, and respond with threats or even violence when corrected. Understand that in such a case, it is not impolite to respond in kind. 
but it is exactly here that the real danger lies. Knives may wound you, bullets may kill you, but it is the impolite ruffians of the L.A. swamps that present the true threat to modern life. Forgetting one's manners. Yes, gentle reader, you may not be able to imagine it, but it has happened. True gentlemen and ladies forgetting their manners, no longer bothering to keep their attire neat and proper, putting elbows on the table at dinner, chewing with their mouth open, and other similar horrors. As you would expect, such degenerates are doomed to the folly and death of all the impolite folk of the wastes. So, in this harsh, challenging society, always keep these six easy tips in mind. A can of deodorant is the most important item you can carry. Dump your guns, food, and water before letting go of it. The same applies to your toothbrush. Always have an extra suit on hand in case your first gets stained with hard-to-remove things such as blood or brain matter. Always be polite, even if those you meet look like ruffians and bandits. It is impolite to assume the worst. But once they are impolite, you may respond in kind. When meeting any kind of authority, do not speak unless spoken to. When eating, even an impromptu table setting and cutlery combination is better than none. Well, thank you, Mr. Manners. Thinking of moving to Rhodia? That's not a good idea. Maybe wait for the sickness to pass first. Seems we found the hospital. Shall I perform, Im perform impromptu surgery on everybody? 27% chance. Hell no. I am not making that mistake again. No, 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 Theodore. What is your skill? Six? Damn. Nurse Flinkman. I'd love to talk to you, Gentle Ranger, but unless you need something from our pharmacy, or until you're occupying one of these beds, I'm afraid I can only give you a moment. So you're saying if I shoot myself in the foot, I can talk to you? Here are your medical supplies. Huh? Here are your medical supplies. Oh! Right! Here are your medical supplies. That's talking about, um... Who has it? There it is. Flinkman's supplies that I found next to that body, next to that synth in the tunnels with the cockroaches. Yeah, Lindy's tools, Flinkman's supplies. Uh, there's something else. Paladino's watch. Hmm. I wonder what she's going to say about why they were down there. Maybe they were stolen from her, I don't know. Why are there so many people in your beds? I have the feeling your presence here means we're going to see even more beds filled. The Robinsons and Mannerites don't get along well at the best of times, and we seem to have the need to show off for visitors. They each want to exert their own, their own power, beat their chests. Okay. All right, what exactly are the Robinsons? I still don't understand. I know what the Mannerites are, but what are the Robinsons? I might be biased, but the followers of Tory Robinson don't seem to want to get along. They want to get ahead. But that doesn't work here, and they're stepping on a lot of toes. Be careful around them. Oh, they're followers of Tory Robinson. Okay, Mr. Manners, Mannerites, Tory Robinson, Robinsons. Gotcha. So they each have their own... Messiah. Well, I'm not sure if giving them a god, you know, a godlike status is really accurate, but, I mean, they name themselves after a person. That's... It's kind of weird. Tell us about the pharmacy. If you need medical, supp medical supplies, we're open to trade. Okay. I'm also willing to pay a premium for certain ingredients. What kind of ingredients? Make most of my meds out of badger tails, roach abdomen... Ooh, frog eyes and lizard eggs. Depending on the condition of the specimen, I'm willing to pay quite a premium. Well, I have 26 pounds of roach abdomens sitting in the sun right now. 
Let me see what you got. Milk. Applies calcification. Ooh. Sell my junk. Just keep my catnip, of course. Uh, I guess I'll sell the empty cat litter. I have $100 worth of fedoras. Just gonna keep some things that have personal value. Oh, you don't have enough money. Whoops, did I just sell it regardless? I think I did. Oh well. So, we found your medical supplies. I guess I can't even tell her where I found them, right? Because we weren't supposed to be in the tunnels. Oh, you found them, thanks. It wasn't Gitlin, was it? No, it was a man named Runyon Pearson. Really? Interesting. I always thought there was something shifty about that man. Well, thank you for returning the supplies. We're always short, so this is a great help. It's not much, but please take this small recompense for all your effort. 150 scrap, thank you. Hello, Sam. What do you want? Can't you see I'm recuperating? Nice shiner. Been in a fight? If you can call it that. Fucking Gitlin jumped me out of nowhere, the pussy. He never would have landed a punch if he'd given me fair warning. Why did he punch you? I have no idea. All I did was tell everybody he was the thief who's been stealing everybody's stuff. If he disagreed with me, he should have said something, not punched me in the nose. I thought man rights were supposed to be polite. I take it you're not a Mannerite? <laughs> no way. I'm a Robinson. Born and bred. Carpe diem, motherfucker. That's my motto. How have the Mannerites not killed the Robinsons? Using such extreme language, you think they just murder them out of impoliteness. What other stuff has gone missing? Old man Paladino lost a watch? Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, well, I just talked to Nurse Flinkman, but tell me where Lindy is. Ventilation fans out near the farms. Okay. Paladino. Hanging out near the common area. Okay. Commons area. How do you know he's a thief? I saw him. He was snooping around the ladies' room waiting for an opportunity. And Nurse Flinkman had something stolen from the ladies' room a few days ago. It has to be him. So you didn't actually see him steal anything? I didn't have to. I know it was him. And now everyone else does too. Who is Gitlin? Jonathan Gitlin. Pansy-ass Mannerite simp. Him and me are both trying to get into the civility enforcers. But he doesn't have a chance now that everyone knows he's a thief. <laughs> that spot's mine. Are you sure this has nothing to do with trying to beat out Gitlin for the position in the Enforcers? What? Of course not. I'm just doing my civic duty. Exposing crime and punishing wrongdoers. I would have beat Gitlin fair and square for that spot. Everybody knows I'm the better man. Sure. This guy just keeps popping up again and again. I think this guy came out of like a cloning vat or something. Welcome, gentle wounded, to the hospital. Do you require care? Actually, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. They are mostly hurt by mutant plants, giant, giant roaches, farm accidents, and occasionally gunfire. Alright. 20 scrap, sure. Ah. What do you know about being civil? Many of my patients are here because they couldn't remain civil. 
Lack of civility means blood and bullets. I guess politeness takes a while to learn. Tell us about Space Space the Farm. A little hard work into it. Mm hmm. That's weird. It's really doing well, but somehow these people managed to cut themselves or stab themselves or. You see that guy at the end? I had to pull a corn cob out of his rear. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm pretty sure having a corn cob shoved up your ass is not a typical farming accident. Tell me about the roaches, the ones I, I totally did not just kill. <clears throat> a misguided soul believed that breeding roaches would help provide us with a steady source of protein. That is one of the reasons we all became vegetarians. Sadly, the offspring of those roaches have been growing and changing down in the steam tunnels, and it's getting steadily more dangerous down there. Oh, they were for protein? So the Manorites don't eat meat? Well, we know they eat humans, but... Well, only on special occasions. They call it courtesy meat. It's, uh, not to my taste. No matter how clever the cook is in disguising it. So I don't eat it. I wish none of them would. Hard as level 8, I don't have that. How can you get hurt by a plant? Well, I think I answered that question for myself with the whole infection right at the beginning of the game, but, uh... I guess I'll ask it. Giant tomatoes? Mm-hmm. Got any cat litter? Nope. Oh, yes! Microscope! Can I please borrow your microscope? You mean take it out of the Colosseum? Why? What do you need it for? We need it to cure a plague in Rhodia. A plague in Rhodia? Wait a minute. Are you going to give my microscope to that thieving asshole, Horchata? No way. I'll die first. Uh, what? So, you'll let people die of a plague despite an enemy? Damn right I will. I... That... No. I can't, can I? I'm a doctor. I've got to put that first. But you better bring it back. Excellent. So tell me, what do you think about Robert, Robert Horchata? He was a good doctor, I'll give him that. But being civil always seemed to grate on him. One morning we woke up and he was gone. His loss was a shame, but the supplies he stole were the real blow. If you happen to see him, I think it would be polite to punch him in the face and bring it all back. He's living in Rhodia, by the way. He stole medical supplies so he could do his job. That seems pretty reasonable to me. I mean, a doctor is practically useless without supplies. What do you know about Rhodia? A farming community? Yep. What supplies did he take? Syringes, bandages, a whole bunch of pharmaceuticals. We've managed to rebuild some of our supply, but we can always use more ingredients to help restock our pharmacy. Ah, okay, already know about that stuff. Yep, yep, yep. He left because he, he couldn't be civil? That was the only reason? Well, he just couldn't stop swearing, and Mr. Manners didn't like it. He said he had a terrible bedside manner. And got to the point Horchata could see the writing on the wall. He realized Mr. Manners was going to make an example out of him, just like Fletcher. I don't blame him for leaving, but he shouldn't have stolen our supplies. Tell me about your patience. Got some very interesting cases here. Gunshot stabbings, accidents. We've also got polydactyl syphilis from Watts. Let me tell you, that stuff is a real treat, uh, to treat. Okay, goodbye. Twenty-seven percent on all these people, that is not worth it. I don't suppose I can upgrade his skills, can I? One point? Nah. Nope, nobody's got six points. Alright, how do I get to the center? Like, is there a door I'm missing? Do I just go straight down? Oh yeah, I guess you just go straight down. Really? Like, this looks like an impassable barrier to me. That's, that's really, really steep. Look at that. <laughs> that is insanely steep. People walk up and down on it every day? Jeez. 
That's insane. That's like nearly vertical. Alright, well let me go pick up my abdomens. Okay, let's see what we can get for these cockroach abdomens. Oh yeah, she has no money. 469, damn! That is pretty insane. Okay, well I guess I'll buy some med packs. Yeah, let's get some of the good ones. Copy, Ranger D. Echo 1. Congratulations, Echo 1. Oh my. This is where they're going to do the execution, isn't it? Hello there, you look familiar. Welcome to the Angel's General Store, Traveler. Do you need to buy or sell something? I'm open for trade. What do you carry in your store? All sorts of stuff. Most of it comes from scavenger crews. Okay. And tell us about your scavenger teams. We've got teams that go out and scour the wastes for anything useful. Okay. We have a ration ticket. Let's see here. Signature looks correct, and the expiration date looks good. All right, you only get one pick, so choose wisely. Hmm. This is some good stuff. Okay. Um, I'm gonna buy one bullet. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> Use my ration ticket for one bullet. Or one round, rather. Oh my god, I can get an RPG-7 for one dollar. It's tempting, but uh, that thing's freaking heavy. Nah, I don't want to carry around anything too heavy. Okay, um, let's see. Do I have anything better than what I already have? I mean, most, like, all of this stuff seems to be the same thing that I could have bought back at, uh, Santa Fe Springs from Pistol Pete and his friends. Yeah, I don't see anything new. However, I believe Theodore, yeah, Theodore does not have an AK-97. So let's replace his M16 with an AK-97, because it's significantly better. Let's do that. Go ahead and do some attachment fun here. Let's remove. Whoops. Okay, what to put on this thing? Well, I don't have any large scopes, so I might as well put on a small scope. High capacity mag is probably the way to go. Quick mag doesn't really matter because I almost never last long enough in a fight to need to reload. Yeah, let's go with the high capacity mag. And can I put a choke on a assault rifle? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, it's rather impolite to sneeze while recording. Sorry, gentle viewer. Yeah, can I put a choke on an assault rifle? No, I didn't think so. 
Yeah, that's just usable on shotguns. Okay. So I don't think I have anything else to put on it. I don't think anybody else has any attachments, do they? Oh yeah, there's a flash suppressor, but I don't have enough weapons but I think, to use it, right? I think she only has seven. Whoops, I just dropped it. Yep, she can't. Okay, looks like that's all I'm gonna get for the attachments, that's fine. Let's put that on, let's... Uh, go on and strip it. Sure. I need to sell some of that trash, but I'm gonna do that later, probably off-screen. I've got so many weapon mod parts that I just don't need. Would it be stealing to open this? Let's find out. Whew! Oh, what the hell? Okay. There's just a human flesh and a sniper rifle sitting in a box that's unlocked. <laughs> right. Let's see how that compares to the M24. Significantly more damage. Damage multiplier is higher. Range is extremely good. The base range is 36. Low capacity, but that's probably fine. Extremely good armor penetration. This That thing is amazing. The only thing bad about it is the type of ammo that it uses. Because unfortunately it's not the type of ammo that I have a lot of, but... I think it's really good. And they don't mind if I take this. This isn't stealing. Uh, I'm not going to take the human flesh, though. That's gross. Yeah, they don't care. That's really weird. You think they would miss their Arctic sniper? Okay, well, let's use the Arctic sniper for Vulture's Cry, actually, because I feel like Helen's been getting kind of all of the love, because she has the anti material rifle. So let's do this. Do I have anything on this? Yes. 50% chance. Ooh. Come on. Yes. 100% chance. Nice. Okay. God, look at that tactical scope. That thing's amazing. Plus 8 meters maximum range. That is ridiculous. High capacity mag will take care of the ammo problems. <laughs> Look at that thing. 50 meter range. That is obscene. Beautiful. That sucker's 16 pounds. Okay, what kind of ammo for that? Is that the same as. Yeah, it uses the same type of ammo as the Sabra Marie. The Sabra Marie is just not. It's not reliable because of the ridiculous range in the damage between 10 and 98. Even though the average damage is actually pretty good. You know, the average damage is around 55. But still, the fact that it's not consistent, it's not even moderately consistent, means I can't, I can't bank, like, tactical decisions on it. Because I might just roll really unlucky, so I don't like this thing. I'll leave it equipped on our secondary slot, but I don't really intend to use it. Okay, sweet. Well, you know, this is a pretty good time to end this episode. Pretty good length, and I want to do some inventory management, especially with Helen. I gotta sell a lot of crap. And manage various things. And I'm right next to a store, so this is the perfect place to do it. So I think I'll do that off-screen before the start of the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.